Hey guys, Dr. Axe here, Dr. Functional Medicine. Today I'm gonna to share with you my five-step process to treat anemia naturally. If you wanna know the best anemia cures, you're gonna find those in this video, including the best diet, supplements, along with triggers, things that can trigger anemia, you absolutely wanna watch out for. The first step in overcoming anemia is really nourishing your spleen. You know, your spleen is an organ that is responsible for red blood cell production, as well as keeping fluids together in your system. And if your spleen isn't healthy, that's one of the first factors that's going to cause anemia. And there are specific foods that will actually help nourish your spleen, helping you overcome anemia naturally. Uh, that first food group would be squash, specifically things like pumpkin, acorn squash, butternut squash, spaghetti squash, but those bright, orange colored foods, think fall harvest, those sort of foods are gonna be fantastic for nourishing the spleen. So step number one is nourishing your spleen. And I would recommend getting one to two servings of squash in your daily diet. And if you want some ideas, you can check out some of my recipes there on draxe.com. The other thing that's very important for nourishing your spleen and red blood cell production are going to be green leafy vegetables like spinach, kale, and chard. Doing one serving of those a day, something like a kale salad or sauteed spinach is also very nourishing to your spleen. And last but not least, our bitter foods are great for the spleen. Specifically Specifically, things like romaine lettuce, arugula. You can even do bitter herbs before a meal as a supplement. But anything that's sort of a bitter food is very, very nourishing to the spleen. Step number two to help you naturally overcome anemia is you need to start getting your gut healthy with probiotics. Now listen to this principle. It's not you are what you eat, it is you are what you digest. If you're not digesting properly and absorbing and assembling nutrients properly, you're not absorbing iron. And so for a lot of people, you might even be taking iron supplements and they're not working. The reason is, is that your, your digestive system isn't healthy and you probably have a condition called leaky gut. And leaky gut doesn't allow you to properly absorb uh, iron, as well as certain other vitamins like vitamin B12 and magnesium and zinc. And so you could be deficient because you don't have a healthy gut and probiotics are really the first key into restoring your digestive health. In fact, a recent medical study out of Stanford found that when somebody supplements with probiotics, all of their B vitamin levels go up along with their iron. So listen, treat the root cause, not the symptom. So, so many doctors today say, hey, just go and take this iron tab. It's not fixing it. You've got to be able to absorb the iron tab for it to work. So for that reason, you want to add in probiotic-rich foods like real homemade yogurt, goat's milk kefir, sauerkraut, uh, and other probiotic-rich foods, and then taking a probiotic supplement, typically 50 to 100 billion I use daily, can definitely help support your iron absorption. Step number two in overcoming anemia is getting those processed and junk foods out, especially excess sugar and anything that can cause candida. You know, oftentimes candida and anemia are linked, and so if you ever notice some a white color on your tongue, uh, or in the back of your throat, or if you ever tend to get a, um, any sort of yeast issues, you know that's candida, and candida will block iron absorption. And so diet is key. And so in order to really overcome that, you've got to support the spleen like I talked about earlier, but also eliminate processed sugars and grains. So again, if you are doing a lot of sugars, pastas, bread, cereals, any type of grain product or sugar product, that's going to feed yeast. Replace those with healthy fats in your diet. Or if you're going to use a sweetener, raw local honey in small amounts, a tablespoon of most at a time, or stevia is the best option in terms of sweeteners. The next step in helping you overcome anemia is going to be actually consuming iron-rich foods. And some of the best include uh, foods like um, like liver. In fact, beef liver is by far, and chicken liver are by far the highest. And that might sound gross to you, consuming liver, but I'm telling you, if you buy organic chicken liver at your local farmer's market or at your health food store, you can put it in a crock pot with chicken, and equal ratios are about a third liver, two thirds uh, chicken, and do a big crock pot with vegetables like carrots, celery, onions, sea salt. Do a big crock pot with some liver in there, and that is the perfect meal to help replenish your liver, uh, and as well as 
liver is very high in iron, as I just discussed, which is important. And so again, getting liver in your diet. Also, other iron-rich foods uh, you wanna be getting in your diet, look towards meat, specifically grass-fed beef. Bison is fantastic in lamb, but think organic grass-fed red meats are some of the highest foods in iron. Also, spinach and kale and chard, getting those green leafy vegetables in. So again, an ideal meal might look like that crock pot soup I talked about earlier. Another idea would be a bison burger with a side of spinach. Fantastic for helping you overcome anemia. And last but not least, lifestyle and reducing stress. If you're emotionally stressed out, if you struggle with unforgiveness, anger, or a chronic have chronic worry and anxiety, those things really deplete your spleen and your liver and will exhaust those organs. So really make sure that you are scheduling in times of relaxation, times of fun during your week, getting plenty of sleep at night. Those things will really help recharge your system and body. And if you do those things, you're gonna see fantastic results in overcoming anemia. And last little bonus tip here, in Chinese medicine, again, anemia is very closely related to the spleen and certain herbs actually help support the spleen, especially ginseng. Ginseng is known as an adaptogenic herb that helps your body better deal with stress. So adding in a supplement, supplement like ginseng may also help uh, really in supporting healthy blood. And then beets, another superfood that really helps with a healthy circulatory system and healthy iron levels. So guys, this has been myself, Dr. Axe, talking about anemia natural treatments and natural cures for anemia. I hope you've enjoyed this video. And hey, if you wanna learn more about the best ways to heal naturally, make sure you subscribe here to uh, my YouTube channel. You're gonna find the greatest and latest health news available today. Thanks, guys. Mm -hmm.